Hey everyone, Brad Poole, New Market Director for Encore Networks, and today we're going to go over a feature that was added in the July release of Egan Cloud. That's the ability to assign task codes to multiple devices using a CSV file. First thing you need to know is where to find the ability. Uh, the first place you can look is right here on the Devices screen, the Tier 2 Devices screen, and that button is right here. If you click it, it brings up the, uh, the, the dialog. The other place you can find it is on the Tier 3 Groups page. So if you go to the Group dashboard and look under More Actions, you'll find it here, Assign Tasks to CSV Group. Both dialogues take you to the exact same place. They have the exact same functionality. I'm going to go to the Devices screen, so it's a little easier for me, and I'm going to click Assign Task via CSV. What this will do is bring up this dialog. Uh, the info bubble here shows you what's supposed to be in the CSV file. Uh, but if you want a sample CSV file, we've created one for you, and the link is right here. You can click that link, and it'll, it'll download the CSV file for you. I've already done that. You can also find this CSV file on the, EN, uh, the Encore Network's website under the Document Catalog and in the EN Cloud CSV files. It's right there. The other thing you'll need to know is which task codes you can use, and you can find the task codes under the Assign Device Tasks for any one of your devices, and then Assign New Tasks, and this will give you the list of all the tasks and their codes right here. All right, you scroll down. If you want to use password change codes, you can type password here. It'll show you all the password changing codes. If you're looking for maybe a config code of some kind, for doing a, a backup configuration or a reset, you can see those codes here. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you download the sample CSV, I've done so already, I'm going to bring it up. This is what the sample CSV looks like. You've got some sample data up here at the top, and you've got the field definitions and descriptions right down here. Make sure you remove this section before you use this CSV file. In the top, you can see that you can assign tasks to any number of devices you want. All you need is the device UID up there. You can put multiple, send multiple tasks to the same device, or you can send tasks to different devices. Then you put the task code here, the frequency, the enforcement level, and then if there's a value required, you'd put the value in here. You can also put a start date. This is the don't send until date. And there's the valid until date, which is the expiration date. And then if you're sending a firmware, like forwarding a firmware or a configuration, then you'll need the unique ID of the firmware or the configuration, which can be found in the hardware profile section. Now, just as an example here, we're going to go ahead and send a sample CSV file. So I've got one here, which I used the uh, CSV to create. What you can see is we've, uh, we're loading tasks to the same device, three tasks to the same device. This is changing the admin password, this is changing the Wi-Fi password, and this is kicking off a, a, a configuration backup. Uh, you can also see that I set the start date here for the, uh, for the uh, Wi-Fi change to later in the day using the start date function. So I'm gonna minimize that. I'm gonna go to assign task via CSV. I'm gonna go to browse to find the file. Test CSV1, open. You can see the information is here. Assign the tasks, success. Scroll down to that device we're working on. Go to actions, assign device tasks, and you'll see the queue, and you'll see that they showed up right here, these three. 133, 1014, 1134. You'll see that the one, the 1134, the Wi-Fi change won't happen until 5.30. It's about uh, 45 minutes from now, based on the do not start until time that I put in. It's as easy as that. Again, you can put uh, in your CSV file, you can put multiple devices if you want to. It'll take as many as you want to put in. I just used one for this demo. All right. For any questions about this, you can feel free to contact us at uh, support. Uh, contact me directly. This is Brad Poole at Encore Networks. Hope this has been helpful. 
have a great day.